Hello my lovely friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Georgi and you're watching Just Shake or Steer. So if you're new to the channel, will you just pop in? Welcome. Nice to have you here. If you're one of my regular viewers, it's been a lovely time for me in Cyprus and I'm glad you stay with me around and I hope you enjoy the video from Cyprus with the legendary Stilius, a bartender which it's been for a while and you see him, how natural it is. He did fantastic uh, Cyprus Brandy Sour. And if you missed that video, make sure you watch it. Today, we're not doing cocktail. Today, it's gonna be a little bit different. Now, before anybody try to put any comments down, let me just explain what is the idea of the video. I'm not gonna compare this equipment in front of me. I'm not gonna tell you which one is the best because each one of them is perfect in their own meanings, okay? But I'm going to try to help you decide what should you buy for your home bar if you are after a juicer. Or, you know, I mean, you kind of struggle to decide which one it's actually worth investing. The price range between them is different, but overall they're not expensive. And they will last you forever if you treat them right, okay? So we have the electrical juicer, which is very convenient for if you're doing a big party, so you want to squeeze a lot of juice and it's kind of a give you the speed and the ability to squeeze a lot of juice in no time. Then you have the manual, which I like to call it the retro juicer, which I love. But then with this, you can get really kind of overwhelmed of the choice on the market because there's a professional one, which costs fortune. And there's obviously a cheap one like this one. It's kind of a, around 40 pounds here in UK, which is affordable and it's not on the professional level, okay? But it's doing the job perfect. And finally, obviously the one which pretty much every bar in the world have, and you can have at home as well, the manual little juicer. But the only problem with this one is that you may need to buy two different sizes. So you have four orange and grapefruits, or you can buy one which have all the different cups inside for a different fruit, or just get the small one for lemon and limes. So you may end up with few of these. Now, if you want a juicer just for your home bar and just to make a cocktail or two, just a few, this one is going to do the perfect job. It may not squeeze exactly 100% of the citrus, but it's doing a fantastic job. If you want to do a little bit more of juice and you kind of have every other day or few days of week, you have a drink or drum, you can get that. And also it's good looking. It's very nice. It's look fantastic on the bar. And have this retro feeling, it's just wonderful. Both of them, manual juicing, easy to clean, easy to operate, last forever. Pretty much forever. I don't know how can you break one of these at home, but hey, you never know. The electrical one on the other side, it will give you definitely a lot of juice because you have more pressure on the, on the citrus and obviously you have the electrical motor to help you to squeeze the juice. And it's a good for like a big amount when you want to squeeze a lot. Also small, convenient to store. Electricity. Well, if you run out of electricity, manual is going to always be there. However, it's a little bit fiddly about cleaning because you have few different parts. So you have to kind of a little bit more effort to put to clean it. But I don't think it's a big deal. As I mentioned, I'm not going to compare and can say this is better than that one. It's just giving you an idea how they look like, what's the feeling, and maybe just help you to decide what to buy. Now, for me, point one, this one always going to be in my bar, no matter which one of these I have. This is easy, convenient. I can put in my bag if I travel on holidays, on camping, go visit friends, maybe making cocktails in their house for them. Fantastic. You just put it in the back and you have juicer with you. As I mentioned, you can get a few different sizes or you can get one of those which combine the orange and grapefruit, the lemon and the lime. They're usually plastic, but they're made of very sturdy plastic. This one is a metal, which is quite strong, to be honest. On the other hand, the retro one, uh, fantastic to stay at home. Obviously, I don't expect you to go there and go to your friends and there you go, we do juice. But the good things with that, it's obviously you can put outside on your garden bar or even if it's get wet or under the weather, it's absolutely fine because it's 100% stainless steel. It will stay pretty much forever. Very heavy, 
but good looking, eh? And the electrical one, as I mentioned again, easy to carry around, but you depend on electricity, a little bit more cleaning, and of course, plastic. So I don't know, it could be good, it could break easy, you never know, depends of the usage. So I have three lemons in front of me. They're kind of a similar. Uh, I, I didn't want to pick exact the same amount because you always gonna have, even if the lemon it's one of the lemon it's heavier than the other, that not necessarily mean have the same juice inside because it could be the pith for, um, from outside could be thicker than the other lemon. So I have three. This one is 164 grams. This is 155. This is 129, so that's the smallest one. However, we're gonna use them and just kind of give you a rough idea how these few machines or equipment work, okay? So put this on the side and let's squeeze. First of all, I think we're gonna start with the small one. So I'm gonna grab, if you ever squeeze lemon or lime, you can see on the side have these kind of small bumps so to, to be a nice for squeezing, you gotta remove them, but just the top. Don't uh, reveal the flesh inside because the juice is gonna start going everywhere. So just remove this and just obviously cut it in the middle. And let's give it a squeeze. So I'm gonna put this with a measure. Now with this juicer, I wanted to say as well, it's very good because when you're squeezing the top part it's gonna release some of the oils in the pith. So it's gonna give you a little bit more concentration of the citrus and a little bit of the bitterness uh, coming from the oils, which is quite good. However, when you squeeze, you gotta press really hard. So for you, maybe not the case because I don't know, you may don't have enough power to squeeze it. And always check how it is. Look, I wanna show you inside. Obviously, you're still gonna have some juice inside in the flesh, but there's no other way to squeeze it, okay? But it's all the part of the game here. So we're gonna squeeze one of the lemon. This is the smallest lemon here, so it's not gonna give you that much. However, as I mentioned, it's no comparison uh, to find the winner. It's just more about to show you how they operate. So this one we have, let me just see. So this one gives us 50 milliliters. So I'm gonna put in one of the jiggers to see. It should feel exactly to the top, yeah? That's 50 mil. So that's what we have with this juicer, okay? I should have probably get something to put all this dirty stuff. It's gonna be mess. However, doesn't matter. So let's get another one. Now, I'm gonna try the the retro one, again, you have a little bit here on the top. Just cut this off so you have enough pressure on top and you don't lose all this space when you're squeezing, okay? I'm gonna move this on the side. And let's do the manual. Okay. As I mentioned, it's heavy, but it's easy to squeeze. All you need to do is hold on this side because you may easily flip it over. It's not that sturdy and just give it a squeeze. So the top cap is gonna break the lemon and that's what is gonna come starting the juice, but you need to release a little bit from the top to give a little air in the holes to get in, okay? Give it a few squeeze, make sure every little drop is inside. All right, there you go. It's break the lemon, it's pretty much squeeze everything from the flesh inside. Let's try another one. Now this lemon is a little bit bigger, so it's gonna give a little bit more juice. But again, that's not the purpose of the video. I like the idea of this juicer because it looks good, like I say, it's easy to operate, it's heavy, it's helping you with the squeezing, and it's easy to maintenance because you can just basically open, take out the lemon, and you just lift this cup, wash it, wipe on the top, and you're done. Simple as that. So this is gonna give us, well, that's give us two ounces. So that's give us 10 mil more because the lemon is uh, bigger. So I presume both of them, it's very similar to squeezing because they're manual, okay? So gonna put this in different jigger. 
which I have here because that's bigger. Yeah, that's exactly two ounces. And let's go finally with the final one. This is gonna drip everywhere. So I'm gonna grab one of my little shot glasses just to put underneath to collect the lemon. Let's do the last one. This is gonna be the electric one. So you don't need to cut the top of the lemons because obviously you're gonna press on the top. Right. I'll get this on the side. So how have you been everybody? Just leave me a comment. Tell me how you've been. How was your summer? Are you ready for the autumn? Because I am. Right, electric one. Let's go. Another thing I supposed to mention here with the electric one that it's a little bit noisy. But hey, if you're at home, doesn't matter. Okay, now the electric one is done. It's collecting all the flesh and the seeds on the top, which is absolutely fantastic. And obviously it's giving a lot of juice, I think. So let's try out and I'll tell you exactly what we have here. This lemon was pretty much like the previous one. So I'm expecting, yeah. So if we have to talk about which one is the best of squeezing juice, the electric one it is, because that's, that's nearly three ounces. And this lemon was 154 grams. The other one here was 165. So as you can see, small lemon, but because you have the pressure of your hand and you have inside the electric squeezer, this is gonna pull more. And uh, I'm gonna do this comparison here gonna grab a glass because I want to know exactly what we're having so this is a 50 mil on one side yeah and this is 15 so that's give us 65 so it give us a two ounces and just a little bit more just because it's electric so there you have it I don't know which one you're gonna choose in my opinion, if you have home bar and you want to buy something, go with your gut. Go with what you like. If you like something to look nice on your bar and staying there because you're squeezing lemons often, go with the retro one. It's look fantastic. It's going to give you enough juice. If you want something mobile and just uh, staying away, get the small one because it's easy to store. If you want to squeeze more juice because you're squeezing often, you make making lemonades or juices for the kids or, you know, even for your cocktails, go with the electric one. So it's up to you. All of these three, it's fantastic to have at home. There you have it, guys. So that's it. I'll see you next week with another video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, check the merch and leave me a comment. Until then, as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye bye.